This project is only for a better understanding and some fun. Vibration is caused by an unbalance. Okay, so, what is an unbalance? For example, a rotating unbalance is the uneven distribution of mass around an axis of rotation. When does a propeller from a RC plane have an unbalance? A rotating mass, or here a propeller, is said to be out of balance when its center of mass is out of alignment with the center of rotation. Unbalance causes a moment which gives the propeller a wobbling movement characteristic of vibration of rotating structures. And this effect can be measured. Here a simple experiment. We let rotate a rice grain on a circular path with a radius of 10 cm with 10,000 revolutions per minute. The resulting centrifugal force would then correspond to a weight of 2.8 kg. This example with the rice grain shows that even the smallest unbalanced mass on a propeller like dirt particles produce very large eccentric centrifugal forces and which then cause strong vibrations. What influence do vibrations have on the flight model? Vibrations reduce the power of motors and drives. Vibrations increase the noise level of motors. Vibrations cause and increase the wear and tear of all direct and indirect components and assemblies. Vibrations affect gyroscopes like malfunctions. Shaky images that can be caused by vibration at low frequencies. The Process Viewer application for Android was developed with processing for Java and the basic module with the Arduino IDE in C++. Both functional components are connected to each other via Bluetooth. Here a function picture how and where the sensors are attached to the model airplane. In this case, the accelerometer is attached to the left and the photoelectric sensor is positioned at the same height. This is important so that the time measurement as well as the acceleration measurement have the same axis reference. As an accelerometer we used a MPU6050 built in an aluminum casing and poured out with epoxy resin. The acceleration sensor is fastened with a parallel clamp and a little foam rubber for better grip. For the light barrier, a operational amplifier as a comparator is used to adjust the sensor sensitivity. Here is a short overview of the possible setting functions of the basic module and the corresponding date to output on the process display. There are five knobs on the basic module. The first rotary knob can be used to select the axis to be checked. It is possible to select the x-axis of the y-axis and also the z-axis. Between the X and Y axis is not a big difference they lie on the same rotation plane, but the Z axis indicates whether the propeller has a vibration from a possible pitch difference. With the second knob, the graphic can be stretched with the set factor if the measurement data for the display are too small. With the third rotary knob the offset of the measuring point can be adjusted on the degree scale. The fourth knob is used to adjust the sensitivity of the acceleration sensor.
The fifth knob is used to set which frequencies the digital low-pass filter blocks on the acceleration sensor. Two functions can be executed directly on the touch screen. Touching the top of the header deletes all previously displayed measurement data. If you touch the red dot at the bottom right then the graphic is inverted. The process display shows the measurement data of an axis of the acceleration sensor for a complete revolution. Here a schematic representation. Since only the acceleration forces of an axis are measured, the circular acceleration is only shown as one oscillation from left to right. The start and end as well as the time for a complete revolution is measured with the light barrier. Thus a snapshot of the occurring acceleration forces is created. There with the position of the unbalance on the propeller can be determined very precisely. At the black measuring pointer, the exact position and the value of the maximum acceleration can be precisely displayed. Thank you. 